what's left of the phone that used to be here is this sign. Dirty and beaten up. You wonder how it got that way. It's like high enough to be out of reach that someone would really have to try to get up there and scratch it up like that. But This is where the phone used to be. I remember using this one a couple of times. This is 36th Street in Sunset Park, Brooklyn. also a phone upstairs but that one I think was pulled out about a year ago this is 56th Street 4th Avenue in Sunset Park and here's another here's another lie <laughs> raising false hopes that you might be able to make a phone call from here there's no phone in the vicinity. I'm not exactly sure where it would have been either. I'm guessing it would have been on the at the at the building line, but hard to say. No way to know unless you go back in time on street view, but even there it's probably not. It's probably been gone longer than that, longer than street view goes back. This is at Bay Ridge Avenue, 4th Avenue. I'm back in Bay Ridge again. I walked here from Sunset Park. I have used this phone before. And I actually really hope it has a dial tone because I actually want to make a call to verify that uh, something I set up yesterday is working. This looks like a prey phone. Uh, I can't quite tell from here. But, um, let's see. Ah. No dial tone, no earpiece, no joy. That's too bad, I have my quarter ready. Let's see if this is prey. I don't see it, I do not see it. That's unusual, because this is exactly the kind of phone uh, enclosure you'd find her in. Oh well. If I can find a working phone, I have a an interesting story to uh, to tell with regard to a a little phone connection I set up last night, courtesy of a courtesy of a friend who helped me out. Uh, the cord is pretty grody. Jimmy Irish. Once again, this is Bay Ridge Avenue just off of 4th Avenue in Bay Ridge. Oh wait, was the number on there? No. There's another one across the street. 4th Avenue near 86th Street. 
in, uh, in Bay Ridge. And there's also another one across the street. I don't know if you can tell from here, but we'll get up close. I think these ads have been up for a couple of years now for Sling TV. And here's some... This is not art in ad places. I'm not sure who does the, the Kestgak stuff. But it pretty well covers up whatever that ambulance advertisement is for. Probably a PSA. Somebody did tell me who, who does the Kest Gag stuff, but I just don't remember now. Nothing doing. This one is on Fifth Avenue between 79th and 80th Streets in Bay Ridge. That middle thing on top is a, a remnant of the free Wi-Fi pilot program that was rolled out. Um, when was that anyway? I think it was 2014 maybe. And it offered free Wi-Fi for, I don't know, maybe a block. Reached, I think it reached about a city block and it was, I, I, I tried it a couple of times. It wasn't especially fast, but it, it was uh, one of the many last gasps that 
the city and the, the payphone owners attempted to bring some bring some relevance back to pay telephones. No dial tone. But the free Wi-Fi got basically stampeded out of existence by Link NYC. This one has a barcode. Here it is again, a little mystery. Certain of these phones have the word live spray painted at the base, and sometimes they have the PPT ID number, which in this case would be 138833. But it has no dial tone, so the word live can't mean that the phone works. <laughs> I'm sure there's a perfectly boring explanation for it, but I've seen this maybe half a dozen times in the last couple of weeks. Well, here's another one. With yet another Sling.com advertisement. This is on Fifth Avenue between uh, 76th, I think, and Bay Ridge Parkway. Dalton. There's something I want to try just to hear it. Oh crap. Oh, it swallowed my quarter. Bastard. this over a payphone just for my own satisfaction. Phone rule number one, which is don't put the coin in until you've dialed the number. Perhaps others will learn from my mistake here. <laughs> <laughs> 